Hello friends. I hope you are loving the story, the series and you are making the toy and learning science. So today I am going to tell you a story about a very famous scientist. I am sure every one of you have heard his name. Albert Einstein. So Albert was born in Germany in 1879 but moved to Switzerland when he was 4 years old. When he was a little boy, Albert would focus on things he cared about, like building a house of cards. Do you know he used to build a house of cards 14 floored high, 14 storied high. I think you all must be having cards at home. Try to build a house of cards. It is fun to do. Albert was fascinated by a compass his father gave him. Do you know what a compass is? A compass is a device they used for knowing the directions. If it, this is north, this is south, then you should know the direction by using a compass. It has a needle floating and when you keep it uh, on the floor or anywhere, the needle suspends and it points to the north. So this needle always aligns to the magnetic field of the earth. So it has a needle which aligns itself to the earth's magnetic field. Nowadays we have much advanced technologies to do so. Why does the needle always point north? Albert's curiosity grew and grew. At school, Albert did not fit in with the other children as he wanted to study how things work and they all wanted to play sports but he was not interested in sports. Albert did not get along with many of his teachers also. While he did well in subjects he liked, he could not concentrate on the subjects he did not like. The most worst thing, the most hated thing by Albert was memorization. He could not memorize anything. He, he always wanted to learn why it happened and then know about the thing. Some of the teachers thought he would go nowhere in life. But this did not let him down. This did not discourage him. He simply focused more and more on what he loved and that was maths and science. Albert also loved music. He spent hours practicing his violin and playing music from his famous composers. He also had named his violin. He, has a, he had a name for his violin. It was named Elena. When he was 12 years old, Albert received a geometry book from his father. He studied the shapes, angles, points and lines and then moved to even harder books on mathematics. He had a friend who was a medical student. He was much older than Albert. He also couldn't keep up with what Albert was learning in mathematics. After his family moved to Italy, he tried to enroll in a polytechnic institute for his further studies. But he was turned down because he did not have a school diploma. Albert worked hard and received his diploma at the age of 21 and was finally accepted in the Polytechnic Institute. After he graduated from there, he tried to find a teaching job. But again, he did not get a teaching job and he had to work hard for another degree. He received another degree from a university and applied for a teaching job. He got a teaching job but now he could not do whatever he wished to do at that job. In 1902, finally after all these hardships, Albert finally got a job at Swiss Federal Patent Office. 
where they filed a patent in Bern, Switzerland. This was an ideal position for him as an expert three class. Why? Because his job was to study all sorts of new inventions. Such an interesting job, right? As he grew, his intelligence was recognized all over the world. But Albert Einstein didn't see himself as anyone special. And he certainly did not want fame. He always said, I'm no special. I don't have any special talents. I'm only passionately curious about things. You should be always curious about things. Ask questions. Ask why is it happening. And try to understand the science behind everything you know. He also used to say that imagination is more important than knowledge. Why? Knowledge is limited. You can get knowledge from reading books or internet, watching videos or anywhere else. But imagination? Imagination comes from your mind. Those are your original ideas. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. Which do you think is more important? Knowing things or having a great imagination? Do think about it. When people talk about him, they often refer to a discovery he made in 1905. The theory of special relativity. But he received a Nobel Prize in 1921 for something else. He won this prize for explaining the photoelectric effect. Kids, do you know where this photoelectric effect is being used today? In developing the solar panels which give green energy. He also discovered or you can say gave the phenomenon of dual property of light. That is, light is a wave and also a particle. And friends, this is not the end. He discovered many more things. He imagined, he asked questions. And that is what we're going to learn from today's story. I hope you've enjoyed the story. And now let's make a toy. So now it's time for to make a toy. So I think today's uh, experiment is uh, not, we cannot say that it is a toy, but we can say that it is an activity. And yes, I'm sure you'll have fun with it. So what we'll need is some glasses, transparent glasses, it can be plastic, and some identical straws. Or you can use pencils, pen, anything. So take two glasses, put the two identical things in there. Now pour water in one of the glasses. What do you see? The straw appears broken on the boundary between air and water. But is the straw really broken? No. This apparent bending of straw is because the speed of light is different in water and air. So the light coming from one part of the straw below the water line changes its direction on coming from the air. This phenomenon is nothing but refraction of light. And this refraction of light is also the reason why stars twinkle and the sparkling of diamonds. Fun, right? Now let's do another experiment. Here you need again a clear glass and some drawings. You can take a paper, draw two fish. I've drawn a fish that can swim in water. Or you can just draw two arrows in it. Keep this paper behind the glass and start pouring water in it. See, can you see the direction of the bottom fish 
has changed. This is also because of the light bending. The light bends in water as its velocity decreases. This is also nothing but the refraction of light. Hope you have enjoyed the toys, the experiments and let me, let's meet up next time. Bye.